Hello friends, welcome once again to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're doing good with your family and friends. In today's session on Azure and Docker, I'm here to show you how to create volumes and container and how you can share this with multiple containers. Like the previous two session, I'm using the same instance that I've used and this uh, instance is running on Azure. So just to show you that uh, Docker engine is already installed and it is running 1903 and uh, my Docker daemon should be in running status. So it's in active state. Let's get started and we'll start with creating a Docker file. So if you remember in the last video, you should know the command. It is vi docker file. And again, make sure that D is in capital letter in Docker file. We'll hit enter and uh, press I on your keyboard and you'll be in the insert mode. I think I was doing again something on this. What I'm going to do is I'll just uh, remove this. You should not see that if you're doing for the first time. The first command I want to use is from, and which base image I want to use, I want to use Ubuntu, and you hit enter. And the second command I want to use is the volume command, so to create volume, so volume has to be in capital. We'll start with bracket and with inverted commas and uh, all slash and I will name this volume as volume one. Then what we come back and uh, close this bracket. At this stage, I can press escape on my keyboard and uh, column WQ to come out of this. So we have created the Docker file. So the next command is to build an image from this Docker files and the command for that is Docker build and uh, we'll tag this, say my image and you hit enter. Actually one mistake I did, I want to be in the current directory so you can give space and you give a full stop or add dot and you can see that now it is uh, building my image. So it was a two step process. First of all, it uh, pulled that image, the Ubuntu image and secondly, it also added the value that we uh, added while we created the Docker file. So let me just clear this. And uh, the next step after we have created this image and added that volume is to create a container, right? So let's go and use a command. It's a Docker run command. So it will create the container and also make sure that it's started. The so Docker run IT dash dash name. And what is the name of the container I want to give? Feel free to give any name. I'm going to name it c1 and the image i want to use is my image with bin and with bash and you hit enter so you can see that the container was created successfully if i go ls you can see that uh, the volume one has been added here right so let's make some changes to this volume one so i'm going to type in cd volume one hit enter and uh, we're going to add some files into this so for that you'll use a touch command so let's add a file one and now if i do ls you can see the file one was added successfully so let me just come out of this and what we're going to do now is to create another container and also see that volume and this file has been added to that and the command for that one is again docker run command dash it dash dash name uh, what i want to name this so let's name this container two and what privileges I want to give. So let me say that they can do everything in this. So privileged, we can get the spelling right. Equal to true, dash dash volumes from and you need to give the name of the container from where we want to this volume. So the name of the container is C1, the image is Ubuntu, and same thing, bin, bash, and let's hit enter. So yeah, you can see that the container was created successfully. So if I do LS, you can see the volume is shared. I can see the volume and does it has the file which we created? Let's check that too. We can 
can see the file one is also there. So can we now add another file and see that has uh, uh, also been added? And if I go into the container one, that file should be there. So again, I'm going to use the touch command for this. And now I'm going to add file two. Let's hit enter. Now, if I do LS, you can see that I have two files. So now if you want to cross check on the container one, let's do that. I'm going to exit from here. Uh, because when we exit the container one, the container uh, one stopped. So what we're going to do is we'll be starting that container. So the command for that one is docker start container one. So the container one was started and let's go inside this container and the command for that one is docker attach container one. Now let me do ls. Yes, volume one is there, but is the files, so the file that we changed, so file two, that should be there. Let me just check that by going to volume one. Now if I do ls, so here you see I have both the files. So I have file one and file two. So in this video, we saw how we can create volume and how we can share that uh, between multiple containers by using simple command. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.